What's up everybody, welcome back to the Pirate Caribbean Hunt. Today we're going to be doing some more footage on our first rate, the uh, HMS Duke of Kent. I nearly forgot the name there, I had to check it out. Um, we're just doing some missions there involving the HMS Duke of Kent. This is only a simple little one now, it's a schooner, which the governor is also generously paying me 200 coins to sink. So, shouldn't be a problem with the size of this compared to that. I'm hopefully going to get a few first rate battles in the video as well today. Uh, hopefully, that is. Uh, they are kind of hard to find around the map sometimes as well. Maybe there's an area on the map actually that just specializes in fresh rates. If that may be a truth, I have not found it yet. So we'll just have to stick with this guy first. And then hopefully get a bit lucky at the end of it. So, uh, God, I'm just going to take down the cannons there so I can turn easier. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're enjoying some of the new content we have on the channel. Um, I'm certainly enjoying playing him anyway. It's a new field of the channel. It's a new uh, new area which we have never touched before and um, I'm kind of enjoying it anyway, so I hope you guys are too uh, Let's go. I keep forgetting that you can only have two speeds in this game I'm so yeah, I'm thinking of uh, the pirate plague of the dead uh, where you can have three speeds actually, but um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna stick on the two speed there, which is X3 and I think on the, the pirate caribbean pirate caribbean hunt That's what we're playing I mean, the Pirate Plague of the Dead, you can get X5 as well, which is cool. Um, right, just to, I know it's easy enough as it is already with this massive first-rate ship, but um, it seems like our schooner has gotten into a bit of trouble there. It's after beaching itself. Unless they're after purposely beaching themselves just so they can escape the carnage that they're going to undergo. But uh looks pretty easy so far. So I'm going to actually just swing around a few mortars. Uh, if I can just turn over there now another bit. I think a few mortars will just do the trick for us. Yeah, I might just, uh, I might leave it there for the time being. Take down their um, cannon fire a second so we can sail easier. Um, I'm going to have to turn. I'm going to have to turn more to the right, I'd say, just so I can get over. Um, I don't think I actually have the ship fully upgraded because um, the, there's an upgrade you can get on the ship where the wind zone actually is reduced. But I don't think we have that. I'm going to give the boys a bit of rum so we can sail faster as well. Just so we can catch up. We're on 14 knots there. Ah, oh, yeah. It looks like we're going to intercept it any second soon now. So, uh, once I get a little bit closer... Oh, look at him. He's actually doing an escape. That's making it even worse for us. This is so annoying. Um, once I do get closer, I will put the speed back down to normal. Just so I can concentrate better. And um, actually just not waste as much cannons as we need to. Because we shouldn't when it's only a little schooner. But, uh, God damn, I'm getting my ass whipped here. I mean, like, we've been... We've been after him for a while, I guess, just because we can't hardly move as much in the uh, first raid, just because of the speed and everything. Okay, I'm going to go back to normal here. I might be able to get a few mortars on him. Again, just fire a few. I don't think it will hit it, but uh, I hope to God my cannon fire will hit him now. I'm going to fire now. No, I think he's just escaping. I think we might have got like one or two shots in, but... That is not enough. Uh, let's just turn. There we go. If we can do it again. Maybe I put the mortars down a bit more. I don't think that will hit him. But I'm just going to fire a few just in case. Uh, let's turn. Come on. Let's speed it up a bit. Take down these. Have our full sails. I think we're in a good position now to intercept them from behind. So I'll put down full sails. There we go. Shouldn't be a problem now. Uh, but I'm not happy how long as this is taking. This shouldn't take that long at all. I guess it is just uh, the movability of the ship. The maneuvers ain't as easy as they look. I'd say I probably could get him with some of the mortars. I can just go up a bit further. Looks like he's going to hit the beach again, I'd say. I'm not too sure. He seems to be beaching himself a lot. Uh, as you can tell as well, my crew uh, is down a bit because I'm running out of dollars. Uh, I'm running out of a lot of money, so I can't hire any new members, but uh, alright, I'm gonna go normal game speed I'm just gonna fire loads of mortars at him This should hit him right, I'm gonna check my spy glass just to make sure um, Where are they landing? Okay, just near nearly hitting him not enough And I better be careful because we might get ourselves beached here as well uh, I'm gonna put away the cannons again so I can get out my speed. I don't have any rum left. I'm not too. No, I don't so I can't go as faster, but we're 14.9, we're 15 knots now, and he's 11.4, so we're not doing too bad, in fairness. We just have to get out of the, the lower areas here, we're, getting, we're nearly at a reef, so we're at risk there of beaching ourselves. So I'm just going to give him from a few front cannons, that should uh, at least knock a bit of it out. Um, I could also 
maybe ram him. See, I don't like, um, I could board him. Yeah, we'll definitely win that. I, I don't want to waste as much as I, um, cannon fire as I, as, um, cannonball, sorry, uh, because I, um, it's just too much of a small ship to actually waste so much cannonballs. So I guess boarding them there was kind of a good idea. Uh, we got 200 for doing that, so we still haven't enough to pay our crew. God damn it, another 72 went. How many do we have? We have 371. That's pretty good in fairness. 371. So what I might do, actually, I might just uh, sell a few of my cannonballs, which I don't need. And uh, hopefully, just hopefully, I don't need these. I don't really need the oil and stuff like that. I could sell all of them, hopefully get some more money out of that. Hopefully a, a good bit. Don't really need these either because I have repair kits. And uh, hopefully that I should be able to hire some more crews. So what have I got? I got 434. Four. That's not too bad now. So what have we got? We've got no other side missions. So I'm going to go to the tavern real quick. And uh, get a few more information. Oh, there's nothing. Are you serious? Oh, God. Okay, we've got nothing. Um, We could go to Treasure Island, but I don't think I really want to do that. Uh, what ships do I have here? I got another first rate. You know what? We're going to set sail... This is a little port. See what we have in the other first rate. We might be able to take a few bits and bobs if it has uh, cargo. Sell it on and make some more money. Wow, oh, yeah, we just have a normal first rate here. Look at the size difference there. Um, I might... I don't know. I was thinking maybe selling this one. Okay, but I, I do realize it has got a lot of crew members, so I might just swap. There we go. We've got full crew now. It doesn't have any... Um, it doesn't have any... Okay, hang on a second. Yeah, I just realized that. <laughs> It doesn't actually have anything on the ship. Uh, we have 720 crew members. That's not bad. I was going to sell the ship, but I think I'll leave it there just in case because I might use it again in the near future. But I think I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to go back up to the Caribbean uh, instead of being down near... Um, just down near uh, the east side of South America. I'm going to stay up near the Caribbean because I think there's a lot more action happening up there than there is down here. And I think I'm going to have to lose some more crewmen again. We got 125. Uh, we'll live with that. So anyway, here we go. Oh, perfect. Looks like we're going to be having a first rate battle. So we got a galleon and two first rates. But I'm not too sure how many first rates are actually going to be there because sometimes it does say that there's only two, and then it turns out that there's actually a lot more. So okay, this time they're being this time they're being honest. So what do we have? We got two first rates and a galleon. So we're going to destroy all of them. Uh, finally, we're getting into a first rate battle. I want to have some bombs on one side because they can wreck the crap out of a ship if you get up close enough. Um, so, alright, we're going to turn around. We're going to just uh, speed this up a small bit just so we can get on uh, on a route. I don't like the way the wind is blowing here. We're not going to have great maneuverability. Um, okay, this is good. This is pretty good. Fire these guys. I might just board really quick so I can get them up. And there's a lot of crewmen here, but the only reason I'm doing this is just so that the ship, there you go. See, the ship is in perfect line for another bit of cannon fire. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, we're going to get him. Yes, we got one. Okay, that was easy. We got one. Uh, we've destroyed a first-rate ship a lot quicker than we destroyed a schooner, just because we're so bloody annoying to catch. What have we got here? We'll just take that loot. Um, I might be able to swing in a few of these. I'm going to go for it. There we go, but I don't think it's going to hit much of the ship. Uh, sails would be handy. If I take down this sail here, maybe it might turn easier. Okay, we're going to use a repair kit. I know it's cheating, but I need my uh, all my cannons back. I'm going to fire this again. I don't know if it's actually hitting it, but we're getting close enough. Yeah, see, we're just missing. We're just missing. So if I can actually just speed it up again, turn the ship, and then we'll get right behind it, and then we'll catch it out that way. So what I need is just keep those sails up for another bit. Oh my god, he's hitting a rock. He's actually hitting a rock. Okay. I guess that's to our advantage anyway. Maybe he's being smart here now by going into the rocks so I can actually get him. Um, let's just turn up another bit. Alright, if I can just turn here. I could use my mortars, but I don't think I will. I'm just going to get really close. I'm going to try to ram him first. Maybe, no, no, no. Hang on, no. ram him. Go on, full speed. There we go. Good ram. Nice damage. And now if I could just... Oh, what will I do here? Quick bit of cannon fire. See, when it's really fast, it is kind of hard to um, keep the cannon fire going and everything. You kind of panic a bit. 
But uh, I think I'm going to just go up to the left hand side of it now, because that's the weakest side there. Maybe just fire a few mortars there now. Uh, full sail. I'm just going to fire a few in there as well. This will damage the other side. It doesn't really need to be damaged as much. But um, I'm just going to do another sharp turn here now and hopefully get on the left side of it. Come on, come on, come on. All right, fire. Go ahead, go ahead. Just start shooting. We're going to get it. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. I don't even know where the galleon went. Where is the galleon? I think that is a really far away. It's a, it's it's gaining it's gaining um distance as well. So I don't know. I'm not even gonna go bother after it because it's gonna take us forever. So um I don't know. I might just go back to Cartagena there now. Might set off a few things and then do one more quest, and that should be it for this video, I'd say. Um, what could we sell? I know I'm gonna lose more crewmen again. Um, okay, I've got cotton. I've got gunpowder. Oh my god, look how much money we've made. Um, that's perfect. I could pay. I'm going to pay because I can't afford to lose anymore. Now, we've got a load of members here. Let's hire. No, I can't even hire. We have 477. That's not too bad. At least we've got loads of cannon fire. Uh, that's just too... Uh, that's, they're, they're too weak. I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to sell a few things there now. I'm just going to sell like... There we go, 100 bombs, just so I can get a bit of money, so I can get more information. Okay, something interesting has been added. Okay, that's cargo. I don't think we really need that. I need something more exciting. Um, I'm just going to keep buying as much as I can. There we go. And we might have a nice choice at the end of this. The thing is, when you go to a port that has more, um, that's bigger than the rest, you get a lot more information. There you go, that looks way better. Okay, we've got a cutter and a sloop of war. They're pretty small ships too, and pretty annoying. Uh, we've got a cutter, small. This flute is big enough, but they don't really have much cannon fire, so it's not really much of a challenge. You know what, we'll make this kind of hard. We'll go after the cutter and the sloop of war. They're very small ships, so it's going to be pretty difficult to catch them. Unless we can get them up right close. Okay, here we go. We've got the uh, sloop of war, and we've got the cutter. Pretty small ships. Uh, so, my thinking is, if I just put bombs on the side of both, and just get really close, then I should have a good chance. I'm going to keep the speed as it is, the normal speed. My sails are pretty ripped at the moment. But that shouldn't really affect what's going on here. So, I'm going to just turn slightly more to the left. And, um, alright, hopefully we can get them this side anyway. The only thing is, if they keep turning, if they keep turning right... They might have me. You see, I don't want to go on a, a goose chase here. Uh, right, this is definitely, definitely going to get rid of this guy anyway. Oh my god, I didn't. Okay, i got to pull him in closer. There we go. <laughs> I would end up boarding him. I guess that's a good technique, but uh, as I said, not exciting. Uh, I'm going to go normal cannonballs here now, just so I can um, shoot him at a bit of distance, because I know he's going to take off. He's taken off already. He's going to try flee. We're gonna make sure that stops. Um, right, I gotta turn. There we go. There we go. So I'm gonna go flying after the sloop of war. I might be able to get him with one ram. Hopefully, I think. Um, I don't even know if there's ram in the ship. Oh, there is. Yeah, you can see it on the bottom. So I'm gonna go after the sloop of war now. I'm hopefully just gonna ram him. I'm gonna save more cannonballs as well, because we're actually kind of poor. We're not the richest of pirates, not these days anyway. We can't afford to keep our crew on, and they're not liking it. Okay, is he coming back this way? He is. Um, I might just... Normal speed. I don't think I can ram him, because the wind is not in my favor. So I'm going to hit him with some bombs in the side. I'm not, I'm gonna, I know I'm going to waste a lot, but look, it's okay. It's worth it. So here we go. We're going to hit him. There you go. Lovely. Come on. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Lovely. Perfect. A perfect bit of experience as well. Um, I don't know what loot are we going to get. Yeah, we're going to get some loot there. That's fine. So let's go back to Cartagena. And we're going to sell off what we can. Hopefully we have experience enough to get another uh, gem. But I don't know. I don't think we will. Um, how much more do we need? Oh, yeah. We're nearly there. We need like another 2,000. 1,500 nearly. Okay. So let's just go and sell what we can. I'm going to sell the gunpowder. That's a lot of money. More there as well. And while we're at it, we'll get some more crew members. There we go. That's not too bad, no, in fairness. Um, what else? Oh, I need to buy some rum, actually. 
Um, where's the rum? There it is. I'm going to buy 20 barrels of rum. And you know what? Uh, what have we got here? I'm just going to go and do this one after. This is going to be the last one we're doing now. I need to I need to have some more. I'm in a good mood now because I got my um, I got my rum. And I got loads of cannonballs and loads of crewmen. So let's take on two war galleons and a galleon. And the only problem is, again, we're facing in a terrible direction. Uh, where's the wind? Where is the wind? Oh, it's behind me, actually. That's not too bad. <clears throat> the only thing is, these guys are probably going to go behind me, flank me. This guy, yeah, he's not going to turn onto the side I want him to turn onto. So I'm just going to go over here. I might go for the, um, just the galleon first. Get rid of that. Give us some rum. There you go, boys. That'll get us some more speed. Turn the ship around. And, yeah, the two war galleons have brilliantly beached themselves. So they're sitting ducks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go right in the middle. And I'm going to blast them at either side with bombs. I think that would be the best bet. A few bombs. Oops, I accidentally just uh, set off a mortar. Let's go fire a few mortars in here now. So this is pretty cool. I've never done this before. This is going to be right in the middle. I'm probably going to end up beaching myself as well. But, um... Okay. So, bombs for both of you. And let's just watch them die. Sink to the bottom. I, 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 I'm, being, I'm being very impatient, so I'm just going to board this guy. Very good. Uh, bombs for you. I'm going to board you, actually. I know I waste a lot of my bombs, but... I'm going to take whatever I can from these guys and sell it on, so we're going to make a big profit here. Uh, let's take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. And um, now for you. No, I don't want to capture. I'm going to take some. No, I don't need those. I'm going to. I think I've, I've, I've got way too much. Um, i got way too much weight. Now, I'm going to have to destroy the ship because I cannot get out if that's still there. Um, I am not in a good position. I've got a turn. I've got a turn. I'm going to take some damage here by whacking that ship. Or, we're going to push it out of the way. Pretty cool. Pretty effective. Uh, let's go. Oh, crap. I, I hit that by accident. I meant to get my front cannons, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Uh, let's just swing out. Um, uh, we will not bother with some cannon fire yet. Because I'm going to wait. Now, if I can just turn ever so slowly. Bunderbar. Very good. Right. So, my plan is go up right, to, right onto the right hand side of him, and I'm going to hit him with some uh, bombs, and that should definitely knock him down. Um, I, w I don't know. Should I board him? Because I think the galleons usually have the most, most valuable stuff. I might actually just board him and capture the ship and sell it on. That's the best bet. Um, there we go. Let's capture ship. And now let's go to a port. Cartagena. Best port. It's a very big port, so we'll get a lot of more stuff. And we can sell a lot more stuff, too, and get more crew members. So, what I want to do is I want to sell everything you have. Such as gunpowder. That's a lot of money there. Gunpowder is very expensive. Um, let's sell that. We'll sell the ship for 500. Very good. Now I will sell these as well. i got to go into the shop. Let's go sell grape shot and these guys and the cannonballs. We don't are the cannons except themselves and the sails and we'll keep the rums. So there we go. We have a nice little profit. How many sailors? Oh, I think I've, I've I bought all the sailors there was, but uh, we've got three thousand two hundred and eighty-eight now. That's not too bad at all. So I'm gonna leave the uh, leave the video here now. Uh, thanks very much for watching, everybody. Uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So you won't miss a video at all. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well, actually. You'll be notified every time we do an upload. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more from the Pirate Caribbean hunt, don't forget to let me know in the comments section. And other than that, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>